the nav unit doesn't have additional channel memory, but it also has several useful modes using this button. The first mode is the OBS mode. In this mode, the unit acts as a separate digital course deviation indicator, CDI. You can see here that you have the scale, and the indicator, and the to from flag, the equivalent of this flag here. Here is the selected radial, and as you may have noticed, it's different radial that we can set in the analog unit. So actually you can track two different radials for each war station that you have tuned, because the second unit also can work in this mode. To change the radial you have to pull the inner knob by clicking it with left mouse button and now the OBS text started to flash which indicates that by turning the knob now you can change the radial and as you can see the division indicator moves on the scale just like you would expect it from on the analog unit if the knob is uh, pushed in, you can tune the frequency. As you can see, uh, when there is uh, no signal received, the flag is displayed, which is an equivalent of mechanical flags on the analog unit. And if we switch to the localizer, the selected radial disappears and is replaced by the lock text and uh, the to from flag is replaced by this mark which shows the center line. Another mode is the to mode uh, which shows the current radial you are on and the from mode which is just the same as to mode just it's the current radial from the station. The last mode is the elapsed timer, which is another timer that starts when the unit is powered on, and also it can be set to count down by pressing and holding the standby key, rotating the knobs during the flashing ET symbol. and pressing the standby key again and now it starts counts down and the alarm will be started when it reaches zero but because uh, the timers in the clock and the ADF unit are more convenient I doubt that you will use this timer very often still it's something that we wanted to simulate so we can say that we have simulated all the modes and functions of the uh, bending skiing KX 155A unit. It is also worth mentioning that if you set your GPS to drive the analog CDI in order for your autopilot to follow the flight plan you have entered into the GPS you can still use the digital CDI to cross-check your GPS with uh, the war station because as you can see it's completely independent from the analog one.